Hey friends! Navigating through the holidays during a period we are either struggling with an eating disorder or struggling through recovery from an eating disorder is very hard. And I'm going to be taking this for the recovery aspect because pretty much eating is really hard for anybody who's going through an eating disorder. It's just Thanksgiving or Christmas or these big holidays where you have to eat a lot, it kind of takes off the facade of all your excuses. So you can't really say, your excuses don't hold up. If you, you can't say you already ate, you can't say you already brushed your teeth or whatever stupid excuse you have to not eat. They're just blown out of the water because it's Christmas, gosh darn it, and people should eat. So I'm not going to really address that. I am going to address the fears that you have when you're recovering. And the recovering fears are pretty much, I, I feel a lot of them are, are driven by just fears in general that are kind of irrational, like being scared that you're going to put on a lot of weight because of a meal or being scared of the calories that you're intaking. And in that mind, you just you really need to reinforce what the goal here is. And the goal here is not to increase the amount of calories throughout your day. That's not the goal of recovery. Recovery isn't going from 500 calories a day to X amount of calories a day. It's about listening to your body. Life is not about calories. Life is about living. And recovery is not about calories. Recovery is about living. So you're eating for the sake of your hunger. And sometimes that's mental hunger, but we're not directing that now. We're talking about the hunger and recovery. And you're going to be hungry during Thanksgiving, and you're going to be hungry during Christmas. And it's okay to give into that. Just because it's decadent rich food, it, it's good to eat. It's good to eat. It's good to treat yourself. Even if th this isn't treating yourself, this is just another meal. And you need to think of it like another meal. People put on this huge thing on Thanksgiving that like, oh, I just ate, you know, my day's worth of calories. Now I need to starve myself or now I need to go out on a run. Like, no, this is, this is another meal. It's only with special food. And then people say, oh, I can't eat today. Gotta save room for Thanksgiving dinner. You're gonna eat, you're gonna eat when you're hungry. You're not gonna skip breakfast and lunch just because you have a big dinner. You're gonna eat when you're hungry, because that's the point of everything. It, you cannot make this dinner, you cannot make this meal a big thing. If you put a lot of weight on it, it it's stupid. It is, it's food. It's really good food that somebody put a lot of time into preparing. But regardless, it's food that is sustenance for your body. It is not something to worry over. It is not something to feel bad about. It's just another meal. And you need to remind yourself because everybody makes a big deal about this, but really it's, it is just a meal. <sighs> also, it's a meal with a lot of people that make stupid comments. And it's, it's hard to, it's hard to cast them away to like, let it roll off your back. Like if you're just through extreme hunger and you're bloated and you're carrying a lot of weight in a lot of weird ways, it's hard to take a comment like, oh, you sure put, a, put on some weight and not, you know, be crushed. But the fact is these people are incredibly ignorant and they're going to make comments. They were going to make comments. I got one like, oh, you need some meat on your bones when I was really skinny. And I mean, that just rolled off my back. I mean, it gave me a little ego boost that, hey, somebody thinks I'm skinny. But, I mean, nothing more. And this one, you know, those comments, oh, you put on some weight. <laughs> yeah, it hurt, but, I mean, I did. And it's good that I did. And gosh darn it, I'm proud of it. People are ignorant. I mean, that's that's kind of the whole ordeal here with Christmas and Thanksgiving. People are ignorant. People are ignorant about how it is just another meal and that it shouldn't be a huge weight on it. The only huge weight should be is, hey, it's great, not, hey, it has a lot of calories, or hey, you need to prepare yourself by not eating or by exercising. It's not how this works. You have a body for a reason that tells you when to you're hungry, and you have a body for a metabolism too, and you need to eat to carry on that metabolism, so eat for your metabolism. If that's the only thing that keeps you motivated, then eat for your metabolism. 
I had a friend tell me recently, I was saying, hey, I'm having a pretty hard time with anorexia. I've eaten a lot today, and I know you want to eat some more, and it sounds good, but I'm having some tr trouble. And he's like, just eat for your metabolism. And I'm like, huh, yeah, I mean, he's got a point. So I ate for my metabolism, and I'm afraid that it was healthy. This meal is not a big deal. You are going to survive. You are not going to put on a magical amount of weight because you've eat it, eaten good food. You are not going to die because you put gravy on your turkey. And you are not going to wither away because somebody made a bad comment to you. You're going to probably have to deal with some people's ignorances. But we're all ignorant at times. And we, we, can, we can deal with it. We've done, dealt with whatever eating disorder telling, you the, telling us the most horrible things. We can deal with Aunt Susan saying something completely idiotic. And when the, she does, or when anybody does, you know, come to me, come, tell me, and you know, I can tell them you why they're wrong, or I can give you encouragement. I'm here for you guys. I hope this video helped. It's hard to make a video about holidays because it's really just rudimentary information that I'm spewing out here. It's not really anything profound because the holidays and that one meal is not profound. It is not a huge thing. It's just built up because everybody builds it up and because it was a big obstacle when you were anorexic or when you had your eating disorder because you couldn't make excuses. Now that you're in recovery, it's not really like that. It's not really you're making excuses to not eat. It's you're eating, but hey, it's hard here. And having a hey, it's hard here moment is perfectly normal. Everybody is going to have it. It's just how you deal with that and how you rationalize it in your brain. Because the fear of eating one meal is not rational. It is not how recovery works. It's not how any of this works. It's working because your body is a body and you're eating to fuel it. You're eating to fuel it. You're eating to fuel your metabolism. You're eating to fuel your brain. You're eating it to fuel your life. So don't worry because of one meal or because of stupid comments because they mean nothing. Because what we're doing here is bigger than pe stupid people that's kind of mean, but whatever. Stupid people and a stupid meal. Enjoy your food, enjoy your holidays, and I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you need anything, any support, anytime. I'm here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.